Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the second module of 18 uh, Math Dip 31 and uh, this uh, second module is about the differential calculus. So we have uh, four topics. First one is the Maclaurin's uh, series expansion. The second one is the partial uh, differentiation. Here we will be using the uh, Euler's problems and the third topic is the total derivatives and the last topic is Jacobians. Okay, so I uh, will be discussing all these uh, topics by using one or two examples. Okay and uh, before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so uh, the first one is the maclaurin series uh, this is the formula y of x is equal to y of 0 plus x by 1 factorial y1 of 0 then x squared by 2 factorial y2 of 0 x cubed by 3 factorial y3 of 0 and so on okay so the question can be as follows like uh, they'll be giving you of uh, y of x okay y of x here it is given as e power x okay so uh, what is y uh, uh, according to formula what uh, what you have to find is y of 0 first so what will be y of 0 y of 0 will be nothing but uh, e power 0 right what is e power 0 it is 1 okay so in, instead of y of 0 we'll be substituting 1 okay so that was about the e power 0 and the next one is we need to find y1 of 0 what is y1 of 0 uh, we have to differentiate e power x e, e power x differentiation is same only so each time even finding y2 y3 and all it will be same only so we'll keep it as such and uh, the values of uh, y1 of 0 y2 of 0 and yn of 0 will be same only it will be e power 0 it will be 1 only so we have to just substitute uh, the values in uh, this place y of 0 we have to see uh, we got here we'll substitute this one here y of 1 will be substituted here and y2 of 0 will be substituted here and so on okay x will remain as such and uh, two factorial and all will be same only so finally we'll have y of x is equal to uh, e power x that is equal to 1 plus uh, after substitution we'll be getting uh, the equation as follows okay so this is your final answer considering another example sin x and cos x first let's uh, see y of x is equal to sin x okay this uh, this is a question which they have given so to calculate uh, the maclaurin series first uh, we need y of 0 what is y of 0 y of 0 means a sine of 0 sine of 0 is 0 only then we will find y1 of 0 y1 means differentiate y of x y of x is sin x differentiate uh, sin x will get cos x then find cos of 0 that will be 1 like that again uh, differentiate y1 to get y2 so we'll get uh, cos x if you differentiate will get minus sin x substitute x as uh, 0 will get the answer as 0 like that keep on doing till uh, till three terms so we'll get all the values of um, y3 of 0 till uh, means uh, from y of 0 till y3 of 0 then after getting the values substitute the values in the individual places okay so that's all what you have to do in the maclaurin series you'll get the final answer same thing goes for cos x as well find out uh, start from cos x keep on differentiating and finding the values of uh, y of zeros and what answers you get substitute in the main formula okay so this is about the maclaurin series a very important topic from exam point of view okay the second is the Euler's theorem. In Euler's theorem, the statement is that if uh, u is a homogeneous function of x and y, so first we need to uh, prove that u is a homogeneous function. After that, if it's a homogeneous function of degree n, then uh, the function which is x partial derivative of x and y partial derivative of y uh, is equal to n u. If it is of degree 1, it will be 1 u. If it is 2, it will be 2 u. If it is 3, it will be 3 u and so on. Okay. Considering another example, uh, like uh, the first example here it is given for u is equal to x y uh, divided by x plus y okay so uh, the u value is given what we have to find out is this one keep this uh, formula in mind x into partial derivative of u with respect to x and y into partial derivative of u with respect to y that is equal to n into u so u, uh, u is given to us what we need to find first is partial derivative of u with respect to x then partial derivative of u with respect to y so uh, before that uh, we need to prove that it is a homogeneous function so for that what are the steps is that firstly you will be taking out x from the numerator as well as denominator then cancel it you will have x here it will be y by x and 1 uh, one by 1 plus x this can be taken as 1 by 1 plus x as phi if you take this as phi you will be remaining with y by x so here you have x and here you have phi here you have y by x then what power of y you have that is your degree so here in this case it is 1 so my degree is 1 so my answer should be 1 u which is nothing but u so if i find out this answer it, if it equal to u the answer uh, means rhs then my answer is correct okay so uh, first we need to find out what is uh, del u by del x and uh, del u by del y so del u by del x is nothing but uh, if you do like um, see u is given as this one okay and what is del u by del x you just have to uh, keep y as a constant and differentiate if you keep y as a constant and differentiate what it will be firstly y will be out here and here will be x so differentiation of x is 1 so 1 into x plus y 
x plus y then minus keep this as same so here you will have x into differentiation of this is 1 so you will have uh, x plus y minus x x will be cut here you will uh, have y here divided by x plus y whole square I have written x plus y whole square here and since y is here and I had taken y another time means uh, before only outside y y, in, y into y is y square so that is the normal differentiation you have to do considering uh, y as constant that is for partial derivative with respect to x if you uh, consider partial derivative with respect to y you have to consider x as a constant and do the following so here you get both the equations x square by um, x plus y square in this case and y square by y, x plus y whole square in this case after, after you get these two things you have to substitute them in the formula the main formula is this one after you substitute them in here and uh, simplify it you will get the answer as x y by x plus y which is nothing but u right that is your final answer ok so if it is equal to the u then it is your uh, means lh is equal to rhs the answer is correct ok that is what you have to do in the uh, partial derivatives uh, let us consider an example here in this case u is given as this uh, function here so firstly what we have to do we have to prove it as uh, it is a homogeneous function for that take x square outside from here ok what is the highest term that you have to take outside after you take outside you will be remaining with these terms and take the other terms as phi as uh, y minus x will be remaining here so after that remains if it is in this form and what uh, degree you get here that is your n value so you should get the answer as 2u at final ok so it is the same way you have to find out del u by del x and del u by del y you have to find out you will get these two answers and uh, when you add them up you will get the answer as this one 2 into ax square plus 2hxy plus by square and this is nothing but uh, 2u ok so here also the uh, result is verified ok that is all what you have to do in the Euler's theorem and uh, the next topic is the total derivatives here what we have is uh, the two functions will be given like um, f of x y will be given and x will be uh, dependent on t y will be dependent on t f will be depend u will be dependent on x and y ok that is the total derivative here the formula is that du by dt we have to find out in the question they will be giving uh, to find out uh, du by dt so here what you have to do first find uh, del u by del x then dx by dt plus del u by del y into du by dt four things you have to find and add ok that is very simple so here all the things are given to us u value is given x value is given y value is given four things we need to find del u by del x del u by del y dx by dt dy by dt ok so add, add them up you will get the final answer du by dt which is the thing which they have asked the question ok so let us see how to do that what is the value of u x square y plus x y square so find the find the partial derivative as uh, explained earlier you will get some answer here same thing you have to do for y as well you will get an answer here that is for del u by del x and del y by uh, del u by del y and uh, you have to find dx by dt and uh, dy by dt d means it is a uh, total derivative you have to not consider the other term as constant here everything will be considered as variable ok so x is equal to 80 what is dx by dt x is 80 so I will be writing 80 here a is a constant will be taken outside dt by dt is 1 so on the uh, answer will be 1 dx by dt is 1 therefore dy by dt is 2a ok um, uh, yeah dx by dt is a and uh, dy by dt is 2a after you get these two answers substitute them here and here then add them up finally you will get the final answer um, this one and after that if you have x and y terms you uh, substitute them by uh, x is equal to 80 and y equal to 280 so after that uh, you will get the final answer here as uh, du by dt ok that is all what you have to do let us uh, consider one more example for uh, better understanding u is given as this one x is given as this y is given as this first step find out uh, del u by del uh, x and del u by del y after you do that you will get some answers here keep it as such find out dx by dt and dy by dt and that also you keep here then finally add them up after adding substitute the value of x as e power t and y as t square after you do that you will get the final answer as this one ok that's about the uh, total derivative and uh, then uh, the last topic is the composite function containing two variables so actually this is the second part of the total derivative after that we have jacobians that's the last topic okay so in uh, composite function containing two variables here we'll have z is dependent on x and y x and y is dependent on u and v okay so these are the two formulas which you have to uh, keep in mind this is very simple del z by del u u is dependent on uh, means x and y is there right so if you need to find out del z by del u first you will find this one by this one then this one by this one what I mean is del z by del x into del x by del u like that del z by del x del x by del u again del z by del y and del y by del v ok not v it is actually u because we are considering u in the first case so it will be like this z x x r u z y y u in next case z uh, x and uh, x v z y and y v 
okay that's for uh, del uh, z by del v the first one was for uh, del z by del u okay so you just have to find out the things um, means what are, are the terms given here if you find out uh, and then uh, substitute you will get the final answer let's consider a problem here here we have given with the value of x and y so what's our uh, task is to prove this one here we need to find out del z by del u then we have to find out del z by del v and then uh, subtract it okay so what is the value of uh, del z by del u first let's uh, consider that del z by del u is nothing but del z by del x uh, into del x by del u then del z by del y minus into uh, del y by del u okay so these two easily we can find out because x and y are uh, given to us so these two can be easily found out so let's see how to do that x and y is given to us del x by uh, del u that can be easily found out here um, what it will be is this one okay here just keep uh, u as a normal term and v as constant because it is del x by del u so u should only be considered as not constant v will be constant so this will be zero so the remaining term is e power u e power u differentiation is same only so it will be e power u only so here got e power u same thing goes for uh, y also del u uh, y by del u and for v also you have to do the same thing del x by del v and del y by del v so you got four terms here four terms where you have to substitute here are the four terms which you got this one this one this one and this one substitute them and after substitution of uh, four terms here then subtract it after you subtract these two will get cut here these two will get cut here so we'll be remaining with these two subtractions if you observe carefully this subtraction with this subtraction is what is asked in the question that's what we have to prove these two subtractions should be equal to this one so if you subtract these both and then you, uh, what you'll get is the terms in the u and v form but u, uh, u and v form uh, we need not write because x value is given y value is given so if you get uh, e power u plus e power minus v we can directly write as x that's what we get here e power u minus uh, means minus minus plus so e power u plus e power minus v that can be uh, written as x and this can be written as y so you will uh, what you will get is uh, del z by del x into x and plus del z by del y into y that is equal to del z by del u uh, minus del, uh, del z by del v that's what asked in the question and uh, that's how you'll prove the LHS and RHS part okay this is the subtraction what I told now okay so this is all what you have to do in the total derivative uh, you just have to handle two terms um, z with u and z with v okay and last topic is the Jacobians and the uh, Jacobians the main formula is this one the determinants okay so observe carefully two terms are given in up u v and in uh, denominator we have two terms x and y so Jacobian will be ux uy vx vy Okay, if you test three terms here like uh, u v w x y z u v w will be here u v w x y z will be in the columns x y z okay so how we will be solving this is as follows u will be given the value of u v and uh, w will be given to us so write out the function here and u of u x means nothing but partial derivative of x with respect to u okay so this is nothing but d u by del u by del x this one uh, by using u I'll substitute u here as x plus y plus z for one only I'll be showing others you have to do okay so x plus y plus z, uh, z I have written here del of x plus y plus z uh, with respect to x consider these two as constant it will be 0 uh, del uh, x by del x is 1 so for u x what I got 1 same thing you have to do for u y also if you consider u y what is u y del u y del y so instead of u what you will write x plus y plus z so since uh, y should only be not constant x and z are constant its uh, differentiation is 0 del uh, y by del y is equal to 1 so for each of these terms you will got uh, uh, get 1 here so I have written as 1 here same thing do for this one and this one also for both v and uh, w in each term x y and z x y and z so what answer we get find out the derivative uh, means the um, determinant of it so we will get the answer uh, that is the final answer that is the Jacobian okay that's all uh, about module 2 and uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one